Let's play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, Malkavian Edition, brought to you on behalf of GameAnyone.com by Frozen Foxy. Huh, this table got knocked over. That's interesting. I don't think I remember that happening before. Well, I started something. Where's the guy who wanted me to start something? So I want to kill him now. I don't know. Do not see him anywhere. <laughs> nope. He's just gone. Either that or he came inside and I killed him. Let's get out of here. Well, I'm sure Mercury will be happy that we killed everyone. Hello, did you get you some money any yet? Of those items you mentioned? I do, I do. I have the special rubber for your fangs for only $100. Uh, okay, I guess. Here. Hmm. I have the blood of the magical stallion. How much do you desire? Uh, I'll buy as much as you've got. Hmm. Three bags of magic for $360. I think I have enough for the procedure now. Thanks for the blood. A start, but the heart of the Dark Father will free us all. A hundred smackers for freedom. Yeah, here you go. Uh, now where can I find the head vampire? <laughs> Hail to the chief. The president is the bloodsucker. You won't have to live like this anymore. <laughs> I'm going to kill the head vampire. Thanks for all your money, idiot. Hm, <laughs> masquerade violation. Ah, well. <laughs> but I got experience for it. Let's see here. How much money do we have now? $930. Awesome. Night on the town, here we come. Well, that guy might get killed, but uh, I did get a lot of money from him. I think it was worth it. Let's go see Mercurio. Perhaps we'll uh, redeem our humanity later. Not that we didn't gain a point of humanity when we saved Mercurio to begin with. Hey, look! It's a street whore! This really is Santa Monica. Oh, did I say that? Hmm. <clears throat> Mercury. I have some astrolite. Where are you, Mercury? Are you okay? Wake up, sleepy dead. Uh, I got the boom boom. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? I sent them to the other side. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? <laughs> your gold? Yes, here is your gold, Mercury. Ah, uh, your lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. Ah, astrolite is fun, no? That astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Hmm. Tell me of the House of Wares. I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there, get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger-happy types and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe, uh... Yes, fleet-footed one? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tongue's hiding out at the moment. A worm hides in turbid liquids. Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? No. Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. 
I don't know the details. Mike takes the tongue, thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where is the daughter of Yanis? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. What can you tell me of the dark daughter of Yanis? She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. And where is the dark daughter of Yanis? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. Hmm. What can you tell me of the white daughter of Yanis? Therese... Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. Hmm. I don't know. Therese I'm a little, you know, in the head, like too. You. And I would think so's Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. What whispers? All right. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. Ooh. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. I see. But I asked the main man, and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Hmm. I need you to paint me a picture of someone. Who exactly? The fleet-footed god. What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. Could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? Hmm. Tell me more of the blood. Right. You're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. Really? By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Hmm. I need to find some answers in the wrinkles of your brain. Who exactly? Hmm. You only have the worm in his black bath. So, I am no longer here. Very well. Perhaps now we can uh, help Miss Poe. Now that we know that blood can heal people. While we're at it, let's see if we got any new email. <laughs> email. We have one unread email. A favor. It has come to our attention that a vial of werewolf blood has made it into the hands of the local tabloid, and that they have sent it on to the clinic in Santa Monica for testing. The responsible party has been dealt with, most painfully, I can assure you. But, for obvious reasons, we can't have anyone testing the blood. Please retrieve the blood sample from the clinic and leave it in your mailbox. You will be compensated accordingly. Sebastian LaCroix. Alright. Perhaps we can uh, redeem our masquerade violation by uh, ensuring that another masquerade violation doesn't occur. And, uh, in the meantime, while we're there, we could, uh, perhaps talk to Miss Poe again. Greetings, Miss Poe. Do you happen to be related to any ancestors named Edgar? Hmm. Don't go before I rescue you, little morsel. Uh, 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 uh,
You don't sound well at all. Just sit still and taste my blood to become mine. It's crazy flavored. Mmm, nummy.